45 years in the making, a cold case is one step closer to being cracked this morning. GBI is working to identify bones found inside a car that was pulled from the bottom of a creek. The owner of the vehicle, Kyle Clink Scales. He's the Auburn student from LaGrange who went missing decades ago. Our Karis Belger joining us from outside GBI's headquarters in Decatur this morning with the latest developments, Karis. It's so crazy how it just all snowballed and just started to unfold just yesterday. Now we're learning so much more. That's right, and investigators aren't just looking at the remains. They're also looking at everything and anything else that was in the car as well. We do know there were some personal items that were found um, in the car as well as those bones, but they're not only trying to determine if those remains are Kyle Klingscale, they're also trying to determine what may have killed him as well. We did hear from a DNA expert who explained that it could be extremely difficult to determine if the body is in fact Kyle because of the condition it was in. Not only was it submerged in water, but there was mud and other things inside that car. But they all that the same person also mentioned it could be hard to determine what the cause of death may have been because of the same circumstances. But if you want to learn more about the crime scene, like the cause of death, all that sort of thing, um, it's a little trickier. I think there you're kind of relying on hopefully clues from the skeletal remains or other circumstantial evidence. And seeing as the car has been submerged for some time, it sounds like the investigators will have the work cut out for them. Now, back in 2006, a man named Jimmy Jones claimed to have been there when Kyle was shot, but investigators did say that um, his story changed far too often. And eventually, he did go to prison for making a false statement. So right now, the investigators have quite a bit to sort through, still quite a few questions that need to be answered right now in this really old, decades old case. And so much has changed in all that time with technology and how investigators do their jobs, carry. So it's going to be really interesting to see how this one plays out. Thank you. This story has been developing for more than 40 years and there is still so much more to come. We're going to continue updating it on 11alive.com as we learn more.